Hello, Byron Joel, uh, assisting at the Permaculture Research Institute of Australia. What do you do and why? Why permaculture? Uh, why permaculture? Um, for me, it's kind of, it wasn't an option. <laughs> I grew up uh, landscaping and uh, doing horticulture and playing with plants a lot, and that was quite satisfying, but not totally satisfying. And uh, I think mm, I, like a lot of permaculturalists, uh, generalists, um, like to dabble uh, in a whole lot of different things, jacks of all trades, so to speak. And permaculture is one of the, uh, the only thing I can think of that allows you to kind of satiate that um, while still seeing a nice tangible end result. Plus all the, all the added benefits that anyone who's engaged in permaculture know about, the, the sense of actually you know, uh, helping toward a solution globally, uh, locally, personally, um, yeah, engaging with other like-minded, passionate, interesting, very intelligent people that permaculturalists always seem to be, that we get through here as students all the time. Like I'm just inundated with amazing people. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of perks. Uh, to conclude, do you have a message for fellow permaculturists for International Permaculture Day? Uh, as someone who is very bookish, a bibliophile, um, and was and is still an information junkie in lots of ways, and spent a great amount of time studying and reading, which is all very valid and important, get your hands dirty. In whatever way possible, get practical. Allow yourself to stop thinking sometimes and just do, 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 do. Thanks very much, Byron. You're welcome.